You know, it's DJ Larry Love, Live Hip Hop Deli Cook Up Atlanta, man. And now this one, JB, this one is for the real Atlanta, man. I'm talking about, it's a lot of, you know, niggas that's duplicators. It's a lot of imitators. But this shit is where the swag shit started at for the city, you know what I'm saying? All the way to now, man. I got to give you your flowers, bro. I ain't, ain't going to fake kick it, you know what I'm saying? We ain't Appreciate faking this shit. Out. Big Jizzle, you know, Jizzle him one-fourth as a one-third of the fran them franchise one board. One-fourth. One-fourth. We're going to keep it one-fourth. We're going to keep it one-fourth. Rest, Rest in peace. peace. Buddy, yeah, yeah. And one-fourth, the real them franchise. Hold on, man. JB, you know how we got to come in. Come on, man. This is how we coming in, man. This how we coming in to this interview, man. We breaking, we breaking the real Atlanta back this interview, man. So we got to come in the right way, man. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Come on, man. Don't come on, man. So that's what we starting from, brother. That's what we starting from those days. We starting from yeah. Was it 2004? 2003 2004, 2004 yeah, yeah. so atlanta 2004 them franchise boys lean with it white t days but you know y'all was a part of you know y'all really started a whole movement right like just to before we jump into the new shit you know y'all boys really started a whole movement like yeah. you ever looked at it like that yeah i mean as I seen all the things that came behind it that helped me understand, like, you know, we did start something, but in the beginning, you know, it was just, we were just making music for around our way. Yeah. But yeah, I noticed later on down, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, y'all boy, y'all boy done set us a little trend, y'all boy done started something. So was y'all just some trap niggas making music? Cause y'all wasn't no dancing niggas, clearly. I mean, y'all danced, but y'all wasn't I mean, dancing niggas. where we niggas. came from, we danced, we, we, we were dancing. Atlanta but, you was, know yeah. what I'm saying? But it, it wasn't, the way some other people might dance or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But we came came from dancing and stuff like that. But we was some some <laughs> dudes out of the ghetto, like you said, and we was doing whatever we could to make our way, you know what I'm word, saying? Word, word, word. And music was one of them things that helped us escape. Real, real. Escape, yeah. like rather it was getting away from the, uh, whatever issue going on at the time. It, 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 it sounded like you were finna say something that I've been saying for 20 years in the interview, the Dodge Adult case. Yeah. Or just because I felt like I wanted to rap that day. You know and what I'm saying? And it ain't nothing wrong with that. Yep. I interviewed, uh, shout out to d well Stuntman. That's my guy, Stunt 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 Man. No. We, uh, I interviewed Stuntman around the same time, and he said almost a similar, the same exact fucking thing. Remember that, JB? Remember Stunt Stunt, almost say, like, bro, I had a cake, I was in, I was on a, we made a, he said almost the same exact it, thing, it, bro. It, 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 it. So you know I ain't bullshitting, with, I can't remember. That's my that. guy, that's, I'm telling you, yeah, it, it, it's all real. It's uh, all real, okay. it's the truth. And, and that's real Atlanta to me, though, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because when I look at it now, it's kind of like these niggas rap because they don't want to go to work no more. That's really my bro. These niggas, half these niggas that's rapping right now because <laughs> they don't want to go punch that clock and right. go to somebody's job. So they bought a computer, got a beat off YouTube, and they're rapping now. And I, right. however you get it, but I can't, right. me, I've been DJing for 17 years, you know what I'm saying? So I can't really like, I come out the, out the trunk days when y'all was uh, exactly. had the Exactly, you really had the grind, had exactly. The, you know what I'm saying? Got the CDs, coming out the trunk, passing, going to DJ, you know what I'm saying? So to go from the lean to that type of movement, bro, to really still have a passion for that shit, bro, I'm pretty sure it's like, it's, it's a humble factor too. Oh yeah, of course. You know what I'm saying? Of You'd of have course. been all around the world with this shit, bro. Already. What's the furthest, what's the furthest place that y'all been to perform? The furthest place, uh... Which further London? Shit. Uh, Europe. Um, all I don't that. know, but we done we done tore up London and all through Europe. I'm talking about frame. I'm talking about all through there. Like we normally go to you know Europe once a year. Yeah. And yeah. we be over there like maybe three weeks at a time. Yeah. yeah and yeah. you know the you know the money's for the concerts over there yeah. are plentiful. I'm plentiful. You know, so you come over yeah. sit down for three four months. Then yeah, think about yeah. making another you know whatever. You yeah. Know what you can go over there and tour for like a whole like a whole six month and come back and don't even drop nothing in the U S. But people don't know because you ain't performing in the U S. Mm. They think this and that, but you really you really be in clear the million dollars. Clear six hundred thousand. Don't even know it. I remember I called Pimp one day and I was like, "Bro, do you know we just made six hundred thousand a P? But you know how you? Oh, I already knew. I knew that shit I already. Knew. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can't go get shit like that. But yeah. yeah, I remember calling him saying that. That's bro. The, this and to say that with your dog is even better. Like a nigga yeah. that we using. You know what I'm saying? We trying to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? Because right, most, right. I feel like most hits. That that be a mistake, but y'all didn't know that was gonna be the hit. You know what I'm saying? 
I mean, most, we knew we knew it was gonna be a hit round away, but we didn't think it was gonna like like I said, we just you do music for round nine away. Yeah, like yeah. for the pool paddling, for for the, hood, to the, for the all the you know what I'm saying, yeah. all the little yeah. neighborhoods yeah. or whatever. But, but so it was more like was y'all the niggas for performing, then going outside to fight in the club, then going to the like because I know back in that time you it just, said just the pool happened. Paddling. However, that happened as far as <laughs> the fight going to fight might come while we perform. Yeah, I remember. I re that's when I started DJing. Like you know what I'm saying, the fight might come while we performing, yeah. and we fighting and performing and yeah. performing and fighting. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's real, man. But so now on back to the story, the clear six hundred thousand check with your dog. You know, what I'm saying that's like you said, they can go over there, ain't got to do shit in the United States. You know, what I'm saying and these right. artists don't understand right. that type of again. The they always care about the glitz and the glamour. Oh yeah, Instagram. they're gonna always. And when you, especially when you're young and you come from nothing, like because yeah. I've been that that guy. Yeah, I've been guilty of that as okay. myself. Okay, so I mean, it's it just upon of knowing and not knowing and growing. You yeah. understand me? Yeah. Yeah. What, what what's the hardest thing to cope with now? Being a, it's an Instagram, social media. You gotta go viral to get some attention. World at this point, sometimes. Right. So you, you coming from a real player, real kicking that kicking that P, really pushing P. You know what I'm saying? Really real player <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? Since the real Atlanta. Right. What's right. the most? What's the what's the hardest transition now? Coming from that, bro. Y'all y'all had literally like the number one song in the world like, at one point. You know what I'm saying? Number two. No, had two number ones back to back the, in the world. Right. T was first. Was white T? No, matter of fact, it was three then. White T. Oh, I think they like me oh, and lean with it. Damn, back to I'm back, tripping. number I'm ones. Billboards and all my G. Damn. Yeah, man. yeah. Platinum. I know. Double I, platinum. I know platinum. Yeah, I, yeah. Man. Already. So it's damn, bro. Like I said, but to this shit got to be at this point. Is it the more single route versus at this point? What is it at this point? For I you? mean, it's just putting out a good body of work and staying loyal to the audience that want to hear you. You okay. know what I mean? Because if you trying to do what going on, did that in the third. Like, look at guys like Jada Kiss. Jada Kiss ain't got to do all that. All he got to do is keep up with the youngest. And look at Jim Jones with the beat. Exactly. That's Perfect all. Example. You know, we were the first one down here who brought Jim Jones to mm -hmm. Atlanta like that. As far as Atlanta West Side rappers, Atlanta rappers. Yeah. He was on the on, on the, the second album. He was on the second album. Of, uh. Oh, our second album, the one that got lean with the rock, yeah, with it on him right? and Dame Dad. Nah, he went on no remix. I it he was, was on a song. I heard he was on Bricks for the High. It was a song we had, and we put him on it. Just like we was originally on um Balling. That's why he say lean with it, pop with it. Bankhead, Bird <laughs> Jones, me, me, and Pale was on there. Oh, shit. My buddy spent some... I did not know that. We I recorded know it at Quad Studio where Tupac got shot at. Damn. Boy. I remember the session like it was yesterday because he had some youngins with him. And you know, everywhere, every every state I went to, I always made homeboys because you know we wanted to get out weed or whatever, yeah, whatever yeah, we wanted yeah, to yeah. get. So I did that, and I used to always have to have everything I need, like my blunts and this that, and the third. And I remember putting out a brown bag full of Phillies, and, and Jim was like, "Yo, Chizzle, you smoking Phillies? <laughs> no, go to the store. I'm gonna get you some Dutchies." Okay, okay. <laughs> bro. But hold on, we gotta go back. You said. They took y'all off of the original song of balling? Yeah, yeah. Jim, Jim Jones explained to me at the time, he was like, it was some politics shit. Yeah. But we already know what it was. Cameron didn't like us. We fought with Jim Jim, Jim Jones and uh, Jewel Strong. We did a whole 33-day tour with Jewels. Us, Chris Brown, Neo, uh, uh, Brandon T. Jackson, yeah, Bow Wow, yeah. uh, Cherish. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, man, it was, it was man, come on. Why can't I'm saying, what the fuck? That, that's some real. Because I, you know, it's, it's, a, it's the Atlanta shit. Because Atlanta, New York niggas always got I, into, I, I, to this I, day. And, and I was finna explain it in okay. a way what I think that really was because people used to call us like ringtone rap. People didn't think that we could really rap. Okay. And now you know, I've been rapping the longest in the group. I've been rapping since I was nine years old. You still get a ringtone check? <laughs> I, don't, I don't wanna talk about Come it. Come on, man. What I you can't mean? talk about certain things. <laughs> hey, hey, niggas still getting rain so chest. What you mean, nigga? But look, look, <laughs> but uh they people used to always like, oh them uh rain town rap. They I kind of felt like they took it as we couldn't really rap. Yeah. And when if you could have heard what we did on there, they might be like Cam might have been on some boy, you can't let them little dudes I shine you okay. like that there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew what that's what it was. Yeah. Jim didn't tell me that. Yeah. He told me it was some politics shit, but I already know cause I felt came Cam, that motherfucker flowing just like a New York. Like, yeah, I could yeah, see. Yeah, yeah, and, and Cam ain't like us. And I like yeah. Cam, but yeah, yeah. Cam ain't like us. Yeah. I can tell. Cam ain't like us. It probably Cam. be love now though. 
It'll be, it'll be love. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, but me and Jimmy, we still good. Yeah. Me and Jewels, we still yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Twin, his brother, we still yeah, good. Yeah. Like that's yeah. hard. That's that's yeah. some real Atlanta culture shit right there, bro. Damn, like, imagine balling with Atlanta. That shit would have probably went. That At the time when he did it, we was the hottest thing on the I circus. <laughs> That's hard. Imagine balling with the franchise boys. That shit lean with. I, that's that's crazy. what. That's where his verse came yeah, from. He, we was in Quad Studio. And he, and he opened up the verse saying that. So we lean with it. Pop with it. Bankhead, yeah, Bird, crazy. Jones, mean with the top missing. Damn. Damn, I'm still stuck on that. I hopped out white tee with my watch glistening. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on, John. Okay, that's hard. So yeah, the new yeah. jizzle. So jump into them days. You got a cheat code, brother. Like I feel like you got a cheat code to the industry because. You didn't did this shit to the max already. Now it's kind of like I'm doing it now because this is a passion. This ain't just no nigga. This is a passion. You know. What I'm saying? Yeah, already. It's it's always so gonna be a passion. You could have done this shit five years ago. You know what I'm saying? Maybe right. it wasn't the right time. No, nah, it wasn't. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You could have done it right before the pandemic started. Maybe it wasn't the right time then. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. So what made 2022 jump out year? What made it? You here right now? So what made you? Already. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> fuck, <laughs> fuck, man. Well, you here? So what? What made you got now feel like? The time is now, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, do with all the things that I've been through and all the things that's kind of still going on. Okay. So I feel like I owe that to the culture to do that for one and for myself and for my own personal reasons, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. And I want to lead, you know what I'm saying, this music and the catalog and the label to, you know, one of my children. I actually want one of my children to do this shit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? How many kids you have? 11, damn, 10, damn, 9. Just, big dog, big, just, just got a football team over there, man. What's man, up? I oh, got a lot of kids, though. Boys I got like 10. Yeah, but okay. I got a mixture half and half. Okay. <laughs> I got grandbabies, so, too. You got grand. So, yeah. to leave this shit to your kids, they got to see you. To, it's important for them to see that you were a part of the. They are. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they know that, but. I, I I want them to see it now. Like it's a lot of stuff that they don't know. Yeah. They might just know those records. Yeah. You get yeah. what I'm saying? It's all that's yeah. You never hear in the interview or nowadays that when an artist is interviewed or even questioned, you never even hear them even ask them the five elements of hip hop no more. These niggas don't know the five elements. Exactly, of but that's something you had to know that's as an you, MC. As you right. <laughs> but you know what's crazy? What you saying that nigga? These clubs don't even have a dance floor no more. Right. You know what I mean? So to go back right. to the, the from and that shit just triggered in my head. You say nigga club don't nigga the average club in Atlanta just got sections, <clears throat> bar, little area we walk. These, these uh, the major clubs don't have a dance floor no more. So if I want to lean and rock with, I got to do that shit in my VIP section now. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? you got to stand your session. That shit trash. <laughs> so getting back to the elements of hip hop, right? You know what I'm saying? And immediately we just listen to the new track. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, oh shit, like this shit. Yeah, it's gonna get played now because y'all the franchise, but this shit can already go straight to the radio. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, Fuck right. the club. This right. shit go, and not to take away from the club, but it can go straight to the radio because right. off the off the stop, off the vibe up. So you right. right, y'all. It's like you imbalanced already the pedigree of this shit. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. So. But you send the elements of hip hop. You y'all really you real Atlanta, but you part of the pedigree of real Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm What's five things that we can make up right now that you can leave for the average artist or the nigga that want to come out this same city? Cause it's different now, bro. It's niggas don't go to prime time and stand in line no more. Niggas ain't about to go to the Libra no more on the east side. Niggas ain't about to go to. Oh, uh, you just you brought know, some back you know with that Libra Poop. east side. <laughs> niggas ain't about to do none of that no more. You know what I'm saying? They about to get on their phone, scroll Instagram with their thumb, and see what people talking about. Yeah. So what's five things that you can leave for the average nigga that or average artist that want to make it right now that he could take with him? That he could take with him from yeah. from Start, what? However, or, yeah, five things. Like you just said, the five minutes of hip hop. So now, okay, five things for the independent artist that he can use to make his to better his career. Well, make sure your shit is good for one. One. That's <laughs> one. Stay consistent. Two. You're gonna have to stay consistent with that good music, and you're gonna have to invest in yourself. Mm, that's the hardest thing. Yeah, you're gonna have to invest in yourself. Why why is that the hardest thing before and now we got three more points. Why is that the hardest thing for a nigga to want to spend money on himself? Why and is you, that the hardest thing? Like niggas will get a manager, they go get a and it's not wrong with that. But at, at, at the same time that like niggas used to get in front of the money, like how it was back when we came. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like you you had a label to pay for those things, but if you're young and you don't know, you think you're just blowing up like that. You don't know that these things are getting, palms are getting greased for these things to happen. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's why I would leave investing yourself. 
Invest, consistent. That's two. We got three. And make sure your shit is good. I said that first. Make, yeah, that's three. <laughs> make sure your shit good. Two more. Uh, know who is who. You're going to definitely have to know who is who. Mm. And I'm talking about around you or just who you working with? Around you, you and who you need to know, like, yeah. in order for this to happen. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? And networking is everything. Man, that's net. That's that's it. Networking no is everything, my G. And I, my whole new slogan, I don't know who I send it, but you got to politic like the mayor. You got to walk on and shake hands like the mayor do. You hey, do man, you got to politic. You got to politic. <laughs> you know facts, the facts, 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 facts. Right. I mean, I could take that from you. You know what I'm saying? But you'd have been to London. You'd have been everywhere doing, performing your song. You I've been there almost 20 years, bro. Yeah. Almost 20 years. Yeah. In this game. Yeah. Still I've been getting a rap home. check. Still getting a fucking rap check. That's a good feeling, bro. Man, Jada told me once they let you in, you're supposed to keep, though. Okay. <laughs> that's, real. that's real. That's real. That's real. That's what he told me for real. real. Jada can see it. So what single? Yeah. Um, before you leave, if we go to when we go to YouTube and type in them franchise boys that we just listened to, but what's the name of the single for the world to know that they need to go listen to right now? Um, well, that boy Jizz, as you see it on the okay. head, it's spelled J like okay. that. Oh, um, I got a, a few records that J got released with videos, which is Touch Me and Talk My Shit, but. Okay. The latest release is uh the new franchise boy record, Get Out My Dick, produced by Pimpin. Shout out to Pimpin. Shout out to Yeah, shout out to Pimp. What yeah, no, man. what no. So uh, and then I heard Paulie got a situation too, though. He got a uh he been on his podcast yeah. called uh Department. Department? Yeah, yeah y'all gotta go check him out. Yeah, you got you going you going you got you going you been through departments yet? Uh we talking about that. Okay. He talk, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, you know he's how, running how around. How was it to see your partner do you know evolve and do some other shit? You know what I'm saying? How is I'm that? I'm I'm proud of him. Okay. And I'm so proud of him more than anyone because i really know him facts you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah. i really know him like yeah. he really knows me yeah so i'm proud of him yeah yeah i um i seen one of your interviews and i don't know what how lately was but somebody asked you um like what like how do y'all break whatever and you were just like nigga just ain't put report back the next the next day to the studio it was something you said you know you <laughs> was like there was somebody asked you there was like a what what happened? Like what? Like how did the group the just off the porch interview? That's what it was off the porch. Like they yeah, was like it was uh, off the porch. They were glove? like, so did yeah, dirty glove okay, bounce. So okay. They was like, uh, he asked me, um, so did the group break up or what? And I was like, <laughs> it was just like a nigga went home one day and didn't call each other no more. That's what I see. <laughs> like nigga got that check. Like what? what? And for, from a true nigga standpoint, statement, I know how it is. All right, bro, we just went on the road, ran it up. We back in the city. Is it just all right? Bro, we gonna get there when we get there. You know what I'm saying? We we got some other shit we need to like. It, it had to been a real reason why I ain't go back to the fucking. Studio. I told you, like I told you on there, you don't know no group that becomes successful, especially as successful as we did, and stay together. The breakup is coming. Mm -hmm. And I said also, money start accumulating, egos get flared. I said all of that on that interview. Mm -hmm. That's what, that's that's going to happen though. That's the that's story. what that's it, natural. I just gave it to you. Yeah, yeah. That's natural I said selection. that on there. And I think if a lot of people like, if you look at it like how you just said it, you would be comfortable with yourself because it's natural selection at that point. That's going to happen. You can't name now a group in the world R and B rap yeah. or nothing that ain't went through their breakup. You, right? you can't name now. Like I said on there, niggas yeah. didn't think Nigga Dipset would up. do it. Exactly. Shout Nigga didn't think yeah. Dipset would do it. Shout out to Sean J and Smoke. Sean J, my right hand. Me and Sean J was working on the yeah. mix. I went to Albany State for college. Yeah. And he had a mixtape called 13th Floor. I hope he see this motherfucker in it. I hope somebody see this. Shout out Sean, Sean J. Jay. What up? But, um, what and up, they, Smoke? And, and one of the most, I remember Sean J, and one of the most creative niggas. I remember, and this is all the way off topic. Nigga, if you go get on the elevator, have you ever seen the 13th floor on the elevator? They always skip like that number. You ever notice that on the elevator, they skip the number 13? I never. So he shot the Sean J. He always, so he came up with this uh, idea. Most of the most creative niggas that I ever met, too. But you're right. You know, I think with. You know, I know Sean personally, so I don't know what really broke them up. I ain't gonna say what I think broke them up, but Albany is already a hard town too. You know, I was yeah. down there too. So you're right. Every do major group kind of go through some shit. That's, yeah, that's everyone. Just, you can't name. I'm now. trying to think while I'm talking. I don't I, know. I want you to think. <laughs> I want you to. <laughs> you're right though. You're right. I want. Oh, it's a to. breakup on the brink of coming. You know what I'm saying? Way. Man, man, I tell you something. Cujo told me this a long time ago. Shout out to St. Luna to come up from the No, I said Cujo, oh, Goody Mall. Oh, oh, Cujo. Okay, I think about Kawan. Shout, yeah. to Murphy, shout out to Murphy Lee, too, my nigga. Oh, Murphy Lee, that's my dog. Yeah. That, we, I got records with yeah, him, too. Shout out to Murph. We yeah, that's a, my guy. I interviewed Murph like two years ago. Yeah, I got records with Murph. He actually had a show up here. Uh, when was that, last year? 
He been up here recently though. Yeah, he had a sh- he, used to have, he used to do a show here. Like I'm talking about like a podcast here. Oh, okay, yeah, gotcha, gotcha, yeah, gotcha, gotcha, a, gotcha. What's the name of uh, Murph's show? Virgo knows Virgos know everything. Yeah, shout okay, out to Murphy. Okay. And, um, and what's he was with uh Amy to cut you up. What's the Big Will, the 106 apart one the from it, remember Big Will that went 106 apart back in the day? Yeah, yeah. They had yeah, a show yeah. up there, yeah. Oh yeah? yeah. Okay, okay. That but, was, uh, that would have been hot. I ain't about to aim it to cut you off. I don't even remember what we were talking about. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about uh but nah, man, it's just a transition, man, and going through what you've been through, man. We promoting the new shit. Um it's new, it's a new fresh, new energy for twenty twenty two, I'm sure. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Already. And you know about my cooking show in my book, right? I don't know about your cooking show in your book. Oh my we, god. Why we see, talking? See, I on. thought you knew. I okay. Did, man. Uh, What's the name of the cooking show? What's the name of the cooking show in the book, man? Okay, the name of the cooking show is uh Lean in the Pot with it. Jizzles Get a Gourmet. <laughs> That's the perfect name. Lean in the pot with it. Jizzles go. So you cooking? You really know how to? Before yeah. you got a camera and cooked about it, what's your best dish? I'm gonna tell you, I ain't got to think about it. Chicken. Oh, come <laughs> on, man. Just fried chicken or just is it? I mean, chicken. Period. But yeah, fried chicken, okay. wingy bingies, wings okay. and things. You okay. know what I mean? Okay. So yeah, but see, this is what the, this is what the name of the show. Lean. Jizzles ghetto gourmet. So this is how a ghetto nigga like his food. Okay. This is how a ghetto nigga like his taco. Okay. This is how a ghetto nigga like his salad. I like that. This is how a ghetto nigga like his hamburger. I like that. This is how a ghetto nigga like his nacho. Okay. I'm coming from that perspective. Food. Can people order from your? Can they order from you? Ain't, is it to that point? Of no, no, we finna get ready. We already were filming pilot last year, but we finna get more into filming the shows and having a celebrity guest on it, doing all that, all that. No, we I, finna start doing all that now. We didn't did some pilots, but we about to start actually hard, doing bro. filming out because I didn't locked in with my my real director. I yeah. kind of stole him for two chain. Okay, look, <laughs> okay, that's hard though, bro. Yeah. That's hard. So we 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 getting down to that point of it now and. As we get from that, yeah, it's gonna be a possible you order a plate. A food truck, you know what I'm saying? Pull up. I would think about that food truck yeah, thing. Right. Start from, it gotta start from somewhere. It gotta go who straight to the building. It? You gotta go straight to start somewhere, you know what I mean? Like, But who gonna do that? I ain't got time for that shit. I'm not gonna be on the, Exactly. It's it gonna, gonna have to be your somebody. Your name. Your name are gonna do it. That's okay. Do all it. right. Well, you make sure you yeah. make sure he get his ass on that truck <laughs> and drive that motherfucker and make them drop out there because I ain't got time for yeah, that nah, shit. Yeah, that's hard though. That's hard. Jesus get a good man. I like that. Yeah, yeah. I like that. I like that. In the book. Them franchise boy ain't nothing wrong with the truth. So mm. a lot of questions that you may not get no solid, significant answer on is definitely gonna be in that book, and it's called "Ain't Nothing Wrong with the Truth." Is it? They, they get it, can they get a digital version? And it is uh, is getting some edits going okay. on. Oh, it's right not out there. yet. No, it's, it's not way. out. Okay, but okay. You, you said okay. what am I promoting? Okay, <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, bro. This guy. Hey, man, this we gotta get it all in there, man. But yeah, um, yeah, that's yeah. Hard. yeah, that's hard. Yeah, yeah. What date can they expect? Uh, is it a date? That we are a time of looking up for this book. The book is gonna become like I guess in the midst of you know what my management team they was talking about putting the book out along with with this project I'm doing talk my shit which features Young Sauce the God which he's actually my artist Shout to Young Sauce. and he's actually you know like president yeah. of my company Straightforward Entertainment That's but he's my artist and they was talking about co-signing that prop that you know yeah. that album with that book okay. you know what i'm saying and i was thinking about doing it the prodigy way the auto auto way because i did kind of i like how he did it because okay. i was like one of the first one who was checked out his book when it okay. first came out or whatever that's hard but i was thinking of taking that route that's hard bro yeah they, hood niggas can get intellectual too you know I, that's why I told you I'm so proud of bro what yeah. he doing with that. That's yeah. why I told hood you that because I know him because I know him. You yeah. know, yeah. Right. Ain't nothing wrong with the hood nigga involving, but they got to keep us in that box. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, that's, right. I tell right. that shit just because that show you good at that. You still can evolve. You know what I'm saying? Right, you, right. My nigga, see, got a whole gourmet. I didn't even know that. I'm, I feel bad that I didn't know that now. To be honest, I thought you know. For I did. Real. I swear I, really I thought did. you know. Bro, I, I tried my <laughs> best not to be on like look, but now that. Bro, I'm surprised I ain't been heard about this shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. But um, but with that, bro, you know what I'm saying? Best blessings to that. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully for we can sure. got down, get some of that fried chicken, uh, get a peak. Can we can we be a guest or something on the oh, already? You know see, see, now I'm holding yeah, to you. I heard what he yeah, said. You know what I'm saying? holding him to that. Come get some of this chicken. But nah, man, before you get out here, man, um, you may have a 17 year old high schooler that see this interview, man, and I love to leave leave the young guys that's inspired by seeing right, right. uh the legendary all of us to still working in the streets, still getting these rap checks. Right. Um what can you leave with somebody that that that's seeing Jizzle on this on this video right now? As far as just motivation. What can a like a, a young high schooler that's up and coming wants to take these staying footsteps of being a going to London and doing a show like what piece of advice is one solid statement that you can leave for a seventeen year old that's gonna transpire to be a grown man in a year? Well, I I'm, would definitely to tell him to further his education because, you facts, know, facts. I didn't further mine, but just so happened I was a great writer and had a good vocabulary. Okay. And 
it carried me. Yeah. So I would definitely tell them to further their education because you, you don't know she ain't gonna have nothing to rap about. Ain't nothing to rap about. You ain't gonna have nothing to rap about. Yeah. And, and and like I said, invest in yourself, like, cause ain't nobody gonna believe in you if you don't believe in you. And if you don't believe in it, how the hell can you convince somebody else to believe in you? Like, you want me to put this up behind you, but you won't even put this up for yourself. So I want them to keep that in mind and further your education, man. You know That's what hard. I'm saying? That's hard. That's universal language right there, bro. Yeah. That's universal language, man. Them real franchise boys, man. Real jizzle in the building. Jizzle? One for the franchise no. boys. And what's the name of the? Um, damn, I'm looking for my phone. I'm trying to go out with the uh, with the song. <clears throat> I wanted to have it play in the background. It is on iTunes under them franchise boys. I have. I'm searching it right now. Called "Get Off My Dick." Oh, it yeah. is on iTunes. Y'all can go search it. Um, it is on there. Them franchise boys under Apple Music. Yeah, yeah. Next time between time, you know it's live hip hop. Deli DJ Larry Love, Jizzle in the building. JB behind the camera, man. We out of here.